In this video, we're going to talk about the Rebel series. Now, a series in Rebel is really, it's, it's a simple concept. It's just a set of values in a particular order. I mean, that's pretty much it. A series can be a block, a string, dates, times, uh, URLs, paths. Uh, there, it, it's a central concept in Rebel. Um, it's used everywhere. It, it's very important. If, if you want to understand Rebel, you really need to understand the concept of a series and how it's used in Rebel. So we're going to, on this page right now, we're looking at the, uh, the classic uh, Rebel 2 documentation. Um, I, I first learned about series in, in this chapter right here, so I thought it'd be a good place to go back to. It it's really uh, makes the concept clear. It, it has a, a, a nice example, um, so that's what we're going to use today. So our, our first step in, in this discussion is to talk about how do you traverse a series. So let me scroll down here a little bit. Now a series has a head and a tail. Um, the head points to the first value of the series and the tail points to one position past the end of the series. Let's uh, go ahead and use this example. So we're just going to define a, a block called uh, um, with, with three values in it, red, green, and blue. Those are just words. Colors, red, green, and blue. So colors is just a rebel word or a var variable that points to this block in memory. And if we do a type question mark on it, we'll see that it's a block. And if we do a head question mark, you'll see that right now we're pointed to the head of this block. Uh, there's a few more uh, functions that are very useful. Index question mark, length question mark. So let's see what that gives us. Index question mark colors. So this is basically telling us what index position we're at in the series. We're currently pointed at the first position, which is the head. And, and also notice that uh, we don't start at zero with this. I know a lot of languages, they start with like zero based arrays. Um, with the series, we start at index position one. So you don't have to do any internal calculations in your head uh, because of zero based uh, data type structures. And then we can get the length of the series. And as expected, the length of the series is three. So to, to pick a value out of a series, we can use uh, another set of functions um, like first and second and third, and it all goes all the way up to tenth. Those are just very, those are convenience functions to be able to pull a value out of a series. So we can do first colors, second colors, and third colors. So we just picked out the three, the three uh, words that are in that block. Now to traverse a series, uh, we can use a function called next. There's, there's several different ways to do this. This is uh, one of them. We're going to start with this. So let's do colors, colon, and we're, we're basically setting, um, setting this variable again and saying next colors. So we're going to move forward, forward in the series. Now, now notice that what it returns is green and blue. And if we check our index, we're now at index position two. And are we at the head now? No, we're not. We're no longer at the head. We're at the second position in the series. Now notice if we do first colors, it's no longer uh, pointing us to red. It's pointing us to green because we've moved forward in the series and now the first uh, uh, value that's there is, is actually index position two. And if we do second colors, you'll see that's blue. But what about third? What happens if we do third colors? Because we know that there's nothing past blue. And it gives us a value of none, which is we would expect something like that, either an error or the value of none. Now notice uh, we're going to look at length. So what's the length now? 
Notice it's not three anymore, it's two. So, so length is uh, looking at this from a relative point of view. It's looking at where it's pointed to now to the end of the series. So you can, you can see that it's not pointing to the whole series anymore. It's pointing to the second position to the end. So let's move to the next position. Colors, colon, next colors. Now we're at blue and our index position is now we're at the third position and notice that the length is now now just one. Now if we continue moving forward one more time oh, now there's nothing there. So keep in mind that colors is pointing to the block, it's pointing to different index positions in the block. We haven't lost the data, it's, there's, it's still there but notice now we are at the tail. We're one past the last element, which means we're at the tail of this block. And if you look at the diagram right here, you'll see that we are now at the tail, one past the end. And if we look at the length of colors, it's now zero. And the index of colors is now four. And what happens if we do first colors? It returns a none. Now notice in Rebel 2, this example was originally done, this classical um, series documentation was, was done with Rebel 2. And uh, then it actually gave an out of range or past end error when you tried that. And in Rebel 3, it, it just returns a none value. So one more thing, a couple more things before we end this video. Um, we've just been going forward in the series. You can also go backwards. So let's do colors colon back colors. And now we are back to the third position. So you can do next, you can do back, you can move back and forth in the series. Um, two more functions I want to introduce, which are not um, actually shown until later in this chapter, but I, I think it makes sense to introduce them now. So we've been, we have those two uh, functions, tail question mark and head question mark. Well, there's also a related one called head, which will actually navigate you back to the, the, the first index position. And it looks like this, colors, colon, head colors. And what that does is it moves us right back to the beginning of the series. And now if we do the head question mark, you'll see that it's true, which means we're back at the head. And likewise, we can move all the way to the tail of the series with the tail function, tail colors. Now we're at the end, and if you check on that with tail question mark, you'll see we're at the tail. So you can do next back, head tail. These are, are very um, easy ways of, of moving through the series. And in the next video, we are going to look at a couple of looping functions that can take advantage of this. Uh, we're going to look at two in particular, the while loop and the for each loop. Uh, thank you for listening.